Hi, I'm just me, and today I am here with January's Boxu. It says Boxu on this side. <laughs> so there's that. Um, Boxu, not affiliated, not associated. They don't know I exist. I'm just a weirdo who likes to eat candy. So Boxu is a monthly subscription box of Japanese snacks. And I don't really know what else to say, because like I said, not affiliated, not associated, they didn't give me a thing, I'm just randomly talking. So let's get in here. It goes here where you can't see. And I'm going to look over here where I can't see. And we'll just do this. Here on top we have a little magazine that tells you all kinds of cool stuff. This month's theme is... Okay. I guess the disclaimer comes now. I have something called dysgraphia. It's dyslexia, but it also affects numbers and patterns. So I have a hard enough time reading English. Reading Japanese is darn near impossible most days. Um, so I am going to be butchering all of the Japanese, if not completely skipping it. So I'm sure there are videos where people like read every word in the description, but that's not this video. Sorry, not sorry. So. Like I said, I'm not going to read any of the little blurbs or anything like that, but in this little magazine they do have a little introduction. I've got a little map of where all the snacks are from which is really cool. And they've got individual little write-ups about all of the snacks. They list allergens. So if you have allergies, this is the box for you. And it's also got like little things, articles about uh, Places in Japan. So let's just start. I want to say, shall we? Who is that? Let's get started, shall we? Where's that from? Who is that? So, first thing we have tea. Hang on, let me find it. In every box, you get a tea, from what I understand. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with them. They don't know I exist. Just a weirdo eating candy. Okay. Green tea comes from Ashigara district of Hakone. The plants grow slowly with less sunlight than other tea types, producing, bleh, producing fewer tannins, uh, resulting in a sweeter tea. Interesting. So there are no common allergens. And there are brewing instructions, as you saw when I held it up. I am not going to try the tea in this video. This is the video where I tried this tea and a couple of other things. And I'm just filming out of order. So I'm going to set this aside and link. Moving on. Next we have these. I don't know what these are. Huh. But they're on the same page. So hang on. There it is. Potato snack curry flavor. They are potato based crackers with curry season. The common allergens are wheat and soy. 
I love curry flavored things. Weird. It's like a potato pancake chip cracker. It smells like curry. Interesting. The texture is interesting. It's like crunchy but also flaky. Like a flaky potato chip. I'm not really getting curry from this spice. Like I think there's curry in it but it Chicken Mr. Noodle. It tastes like a sauce packet from the Chicken Mr. Noodles. More than it tastes like, whoops. More than it tastes like curry to me, personally. It's weird because the outside looks like a rice cracker, so when you bite it, you want it to be a rice cracker, but it's not a rice cracker. It's a chip thing. This thing's weird. Next. Oh. Oh. They gave us two tea bags. That's really nice. I actually, I don't know if it was the last month or the month before, I had mentioned that I wish they gave us multiples of the tea. And they did. Well, thank you for listening, even though I'm pretty sure you didn't get it, the idea from my video, but whatever. I'm going to pretend that they watched this and liked my idea. Okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, this thing. This thing looks delicious. Oh, there are way too many K's and I's in that word. I'm just going to hold this up. See, the trouble with K's and I's is that they could be anything. Like, a K could be an H, an I, it's, is it an L? Thankfully these are lowercase and I can see the dots, but yeah, oh. I don't like when K's and I's and L's, I don't like them all together. But this is a chocolate leaf pie. <laughs> it is popular. Kind of like a tourist snack from Hakone? The unique shape uh, reminds us of a snow-covered leaf. Interesting. Elgins are milk, eggs, and wheat. Yeah, okay. I can see the frosted leaf here. Ooh. That's crunchier than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. It's like a flaky pastry. It's really buttery for being chocolate. It's more buttery than chocolate. Maybe that's just the bite that I had. But yeah, that pastry is really good. And the chocolate's in there somewhere, I'm sure. Like I said, I probably just needed a bigger bite. That's good. Moving on. This is a ring cake. From. We call these donuts. Where are you, ring cake? Yokohama caramel ring cake. This ring cake is soaked in caramel sauce. And 
caramel paste and caramel powder are used in the batter. Allergens are milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. Oh, that broke in half way more easily than I thought it would. sweet and it's like, you know, that burnt flavor of caramel and it's soft, but not like doughy. Mm. It's really good. It's, um, it's definitely cake, but it's like a medium cake. It's not like a dense cake, <laughs> but it's not like a donut floof like I was expecting. <clears throat> it's so good. And yeah, that caramel flavor oh, goes all the way through. It's amazing. Next we have more curry chip cracker things. I've said this before. One thing I like about Boxy was that sometimes they do give you, you know, multiples. Golden. Golden Financier. Are those the words that are written on here? Because, I mean, I, I can't be sure, but what are you really? Oh, right here on this page. Ah, uh, okay, I'm just pronouncing it wrong. Some fancy French thing is a French cake made with almond flour and usually baked in a small mold, small mold, uh, and flavored with fancy French word for brown butter. Common allergies are milk, eggs, tree nuts, and wheat. Okay, you said almond. Is almond the only tree nut? Because I can eat almonds. I'm going for it. Just a little, little tiny bit. Wish me luck. Although, if I've uploaded this, then obviously I'm fine. It's gritty. I don't think I love that it's gritty. It's not particularly nutty. I am picking up the kind of butter aftertaste though. So that's interesting. Not necessarily the kind of thing that I would go looking for. But, assuming I don't have any sort of reaction, I'm going to finish eating that probably tonight. It's good, it's just, it's kind of gritty, and, um, not specific about tree nuts. <laughs> well, let's move on. Oh, we've got a lot of these. Huh. Well then. This Oop. battery Yokohama sesame oil. Oh, rice crackers, brewed with soy sauce, specially brewed in. 
Anoya up. So yeah, all that. Uh, allergies are wheat and soy. <laughs> I really like uh, sesame, so. That's really good. It's very sesame. It's a little bit spicy, but not like too much. Mmm. And like a little bit of a soy sauce aftertaste, just like a little bit. Hmm. I hope you get doubles of that. These are gummies of some kind. I'm going with yuzu gummies of some kind. Citrus fruit, golden colors, sweet juicy flavor. These gummies feature a juicy jelly center. Ooh, these smell amazing. They're like Almost kind of grapefruity. Yeah, it kind of smells like grapefruit. Hmm. I'm still getting grapefruit. Like, I'm not sure how else to describe this flavor. The gummy itself is, um, well, it's gummy. It's soft on the top and kind of like a medium gummy. I don't love the texture, but this flavor is amazing. <laughs> like more, like more floral than a grapefruit. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. That's how I describe that. Moving on, we have a little thing. Salty butter and camembert cheese. Oh my. Let me find this. Salty butter and camembert cheese cookie. <laughs> While still on the sweet side, the sandwich cookie has a sharp flavor from the camembert filling and the salted butter used in the cookie that add a refreshing savoriness. <laughs> Common allergies. Milk, eggs, wheat, soy. So this is a cheese cookie, apparently. Wow, is this ever a cheese cookie? Whew. That reeks. Let me just sniff it again. So it's like a little sandwich cookie. This reminds me of like some fancy gathering that you go to as a kid and they try to convince you that this is some kind of like dessert, but it's not. I 
like if they put cheese between two sugar cookies. Mmm. Okay. And the more you eat, the more you taste the sugar cookie. Um, the aftertaste isn't particularly cheesy. But those first couple bites and that smell, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't love nor hate this, I think, maybe. I don't know how I feel about this. Moving on. We have a this. What is this? Pure gummy petite lemon flavor. Sweethearts start off with a sour punch. And mellows into a lovely sweet lemon taste. Oh, these are big. Little lemon heart. Hmm. That is quite sour. Ooh, I love it. Mm. It doesn't look like I love it, but I love it. Ugh. Okay. I didn't even bother to look at the allergens for that one. Thankfully, it's none. <laughs> it was very sour. Like a good lemon candy should be. And yep, just like it says, it has mellowed out to a nice sweet kind of lemonade taste. Okay. Here we go. Oh, this is quite large. I don't know why I said quite large like that. Like, I, I don't know. These are some kind of chips. Cat's hat. Savory garlic. Gross. So these are extra crunchy garlic potato chips. Allergens are milk and soy. Oh my goodness. Boy, they weren't getting when they said garlic. That is extra crispy. I don't know if I'd want to sit down and eat a bowl of them, but... Maybe with some kind of dip, like... Like ranch. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to try that later. Did it work? Moving on. This. Yokohama. Nope. And it's hyphenated. What? What are y'all trying to do to me? Hyphenating things. Doing that thing where you move it down one. Come on, man. Okay. It is a lemon. Flaky pastry. I'm gonna make a bloopers reel of how much French is in my Japanese candy. Okay, so this is very flaky. And I'm not gonna try to just break it, I'm just gonna bite it, so. Here we go. Mm. I 
It tastes like lemon cream pie. It tastes exactly like lemon cream pie. <clears throat> but just in a different shape. Okay. Next. We have a little tiny thing. Mini baked cheesecake. A mini baked cheesecake. is a camembert cake. Allergies. Milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. So much camembert. I love how Japan has different, like, fads all the time. Wait, like, camembert. Who knew? It's a thing now. This is kind of strange. It's kind of like the other one in the fact that I would expect to find this at a fancy schmancy party. The cake part is really soft, but then the inside is like... You know the texture of white chocolate? It's like that, but cheese. Oh, it is very cheesy. It is also cakey. It's like they took the word cheesecake and made it very literal, which I'm okay with. That was good. I'm not sure I would eat it again. Or apparently I'll eat it again. I mean, I don't not like it. I just don't love it. Here's another of the sour lemon gummies. And, ooh, no, not Pocky. Noir Black Cocoa Sticks. Hey, right here on this page. So there's that. That is an interesting scent. I know it's got like a faint scent of tea. And chocolate inside. That's interesting. It's sweet, but also earthy at the same time. Hmm. I don't know. It, <clears throat> it tastes like tea. Like dark tea, not like not like you have a cup of tea and you don't have anything in it, like a black tea, but like a black tea in the sense that it's not green tea, but also chocolatey, which is not okay. <laughs> I don't think these flavors go together. Individually, they're good, but I don't know if I like that. More. 
to take. More cheesecake. More cheesecake. And I swear. Oh, nice. More of that lemon cake thing. The thing that tastes like lemon pie. And that is an empty box. So that was January's boxu. So, like this if you like this, comment below anything at all you want to say. Subscribe for new videos. What is this? Subscribe for new videos uh, once a week. Hit the notification bell, give up on the notification bell, and just follow me on Twitter. If you want to talk to me on Twitter, please do. Just know that I'm always logged in, but I'm not always near my phone, so if you do message me, then it might take me a while to get back to you, but I will. And join me next time when... What am I doing next time? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing next time, because this is the first video I'm filming tonight, but the last video I'm uploading, so... I don't know, but join me next week. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Nails, necklace, no glasses, lipstick, okay. <clears throat> Right shirt, yes, okay.